Hello guys, in today's video we'll see about stresses in soil mass due to footing pressure. We'll use the approximate method also known as 2 to 1 method or bottom method. So suppose you have a footing, this footing is subjected to a concentrated load Q. The footing has a width B and a length is L. So we want to determine the stress at some depth Z below the footing. So according to Holtz and Kovac, the stress due to the footing is distributed with a ratio of 2 vertical to 1 horizontal. So the stress has side type of distribution. And as you can see, the stress at depth Z is given by B, the width, plus the, the depth of the footing. And the maximum uh, stress is located right below the footing, the center of the footing, and it decreases both on lateral directions. So if you have a strip footing, the stress at the surface is given by simple formula. Stress is equal to force over area. The stress is the concentrated the force is the concentrated load P divided by the area. Since it's strip footing, the area will be the width multiplied by unit length. Similarly, if you have a rectangular footing, the stress on the plane directly below the footing is given by the load divided by the area. Area is the width multiplied by the length. So at depth Z for rectangular footings, the stress can be determined by using side formula. Q with the load, the concentrated load, and the area is B plus Z multiplied by L plus Z. So if you have different types of footings, say a square, rectangular or circular footings, or even a strip or wall footing, you can calculate the area using such formulas. And this 2 to 1 method is usually applicable for stress, determining stress below a footing where the stress intensity is required between Z1 is equal to B to Z2 which is equal to 4B or when the depth is less than 2.5 times the width and mind you this is not applicable for stress distribution between Z1 which is equal to 0 to Z2 which is equal to the width of the footing. Let's see this with practical example. 2 meters of fill which have a density of 2.04 are compacted over a large area. On top of the field or top of the compacted field, a spread footing having a dimension of 3 by 4 is loaded or placed, having a concentrated load of 1400 kN. Assuming the average density of the soil prior or before the placement of the field is 1.68 and the water table is very deep. We are required to compute A, the effective vertical distribution with depth prior to placement of the field, B, the added stress due to the compacted field, and C, the additional stress due to 3 by 4 footing. So, <coughs> for the effective vertical stress, prior to the placement of the field. As you remember before, the vertical stress is given by the unit weight multiplied by depth. Since unit weight is not given, but density is provided. So unit weight is the density multiplied by gravity. So by substituting the various depths into this formula, we can estimate the vertical stress or the effective overburden pressure since for water pressure is absent. So as you can see, with an increase in depth, the vertical stress also increases. So you have the minimum, the lowest amount of vertical stress at the surface, directly below the footing, and the maximum at Z is equal to 20. B, what will be the effective vertical stress due to the placement of the field? So due to the placement of the field, mind you, after compaction, 
the density increases from 1.68 to 2.04 so 2.04 multiplied by the gravity multiplied by the 2 meter field we obtain the 40 kilopascal this is constant so the finally we will calculate the vertical stress due to the footing so using such formula Q is the load 1400 kilonewton the area can be obtained multiplying B plus Z into L plus Z so for various depths we can obtain the effective vertical pressure stress due to the uh, footing so as you can see the maximum stress is obtained at Z is equal to zero or directly below the footing whereas the stress intensity decreases with depth so this picture represents the 2 to 1 method and this graph presents the vertical stress due to the field the effective vertical stress due to the overburden and due to the footing so when you see the vertical stress due to overburden it increases with depth so the minimum is a z is equal to 0 and maximum as z is equal to 20 the stress due to the field is constant having 40 kilopascal so you add 40 kilopascal to the vertical stress and represented by the red line finally the stress due to the footing is maximum at the surface and gradually decreases with depth so this is how you calculate the stress intensity due to a footing when subjected to a concentrated load using approximate method or two to one method thank you